Let's go to step three. Okay, so step three is prepare the buttonhole foot. So inside of your machine, in your accessory drawer, everybody has, oh, I took mine out already. Everybody has this um, buttonhole foot. Now this looks like quite the contraption if we're just looking at it right here. Um, but this is on a spring um, and it actually, once you put it in here, it's on a spring. This, this part right here is on a, on a spring. Because um, if I go like this and let go, it pops back to the front. Okay. Um, this guy needs to be sized correctly for sewing our button. Based on the fact that we're making it, you good? You need me? Okay. Based on the fact that um, we are sewing a buttonhole using a mark, we're going to use the left bars on the side here. But what's really interesting is that if you actually had a button, okay, you could place the button right behind you. There's a bin that has like a ton of buttons. Right there. Yes. Grab me a button. A big button. A big ish button. Not too big. Sections for you so that you really Any able to understand what it is I'm talking about. Because there's a lot of different pieces of go here. All right? So, step one, somebody read for me step or one. Does it have to be yeah, that's fine. That's good. I'll take that one. So, for if you were using a regular button, guys, what you would do is you would open this up and you'd place the button in here based on the size of the button. You'll see the bars have moved open. Are you going to make a big buttonhole or a little buttonhole? A little buttonhole. A little buttonhole. A big buttonhole. A big buttonhole, right? Because you have all this space in here. Oh, no, no. For the project, we're going to make a small buttonhole. But for this one, if you put the buttonhole in here, you see? It just, it's a cute button. It's, it's a larger button, so we're going to need a larger space. So our bars are further apart. For the one I'm making over here, and the way that you guys are going to do this, you might want to come from over top. What you're going to do is you're going to move, and you can see this slides, this back piece here slides forward and backward. You're going to open it up and close it over top of the mark, just until you can see the marks inside the bars. The more so accurate you get with you'll this actual measurement, the more accurate your buttonhole is going to be. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good. So it says line up the bars on the left of the foot with the marked buttonhole on the fabric to establish the size. Attach the buttonhole foot to the machine without changing the set size. So what that means is we need to actually go about taking off our original uh, presser foot first. Okay. So I'm going to lift my presser foot lever up and right at the back, I'm going to okay. swing this over here Let's to you. Okay, flip it around. Right at the, the back here, you'll see there's like a little, um, is it a little black button? What's it's like red. Oh, it's red. Okay. So this little red button. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Cool. Um, if I press right. it forward, my it presser foot will drop off. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to take and I'm going to put this right in my accessory drawer so I don't lose um, it. Okay. The then what I'm going to do is I'm very carefully going to slide my buttonhole camera, foot underneath. Now, it doesn't quite fit under there easily, does it? So, no. Really so I'm going to lift my presser foot up a little higher and then I'm going to bring it down where the, the connection so, was between the two. Right You'll notice there's so a little I'm bar gonna, on yeah. top. I'm going to get it to sit inside. right in there. And you can do it just by pressing, um, bringing the presser foot down, and it'll snap onto that bar. And when you lift it back up, it will now be attached. Does that make sense? I didn't do anything with the sizing of the bars. I left those exactly where they were, those two left bars, um, to make sure that it stays where I need it to stay. All right, I'm going to swing back around. From the front. This goes back to you. OK. As you attach, bring the top thread from the needle through the opening in the foot, okay? Um, which means I'm just going to bring my thread through the opening. Obviously, I already have my machine threaded. I'm going to bring this through. Right where Jody is. And that just gets my thread out of the way, okay? Yeah, Good. No, Jody, right there, right in front it of says the you should be able to Take see the end the marks there. just within the bars okay. to ensure so proper sizing of the hole. Uh, Basically, what that what means is um, when you go to actually, ooh, sorry, line this guy up, you should be able to see the marks yeah. within the within the uh, center part there. Okay. Um, so it says let's try it. Flip over paper. Flip paper over to try this step. Okay. So the last part says. Uh, locate the buttonhole foot attachment in your accessory drawer. Practice lining up the bars for all three samples. When you are comfortable with how it works, set the buttonhole foot for buttonhole number two's size. Does that make sense to you guys? Fantastic. What's the next set of directions? Stop.
Go to the next page. Good. Step four. So now we're really on to step four, which means preparing the machine. So there's a lot of different settings for this particular um, step, okay? You got to make sure that you're, you're going through and you're getting all these different components. If you miss any of these guys, it's going to be a bit of a, a hard time because um, you're, you're going to something's not going to work on your machine, okay? So the first thing is the stitch selection dial, okay? The first place we're going to move it to is this little arrow. It kind of looks like it's going back and then forward again. Basically, by setting it to that first, you are telling the machine, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to reset, I'm going to sew a new buttonhole, okay? Once you've turned it to that, then you're going to turn it to A. So this tells the machine, I'm ready to begin a new buttonhole. Stitch length should be set to uh, the little icon that looks like a buttonhole on your stitch length dial. And it should be just about in the center of that. Stitch width dial should be set to what? Stitch width dial. Four and five, and that's located on the top of your machine, so you'll make sure it's set between four and five, somewhere between there. And then, of course, we have the thread tension dial, which is going to be set to four. Okay? Now, it says flip it over. Let's try this step. So at this step, you're going to set the machine according to the settings on the front, and then you're going to just fill in the blanks so that you remember for sure what exactly we're going to do. And we're going to flip it back over for step number five. Okay, we're getting there. We're almost at the place, okay? I'm going to flip this over, and it's going to go over top of where my Oh, see, I forget it every time, and I almost forgot it again. But I'll just skip back to number three for one second and I'm going to give this to them so they can see what I'm talking about you want to do this okay so at the very bottom of um, prepare the buttonhole foot it says attach the buttonhole foot to the machine without changing the set size lever and then there's a bold and an italicized piece what does it say lower the buttonhole lever you good okay Lower the buttonhole lever. Now, I will tell you, nine times out of ten, the buttonhole function is not working. It's because we have forgotten to lower the buttonhole lever, okay? This is consistently the one thing that I always, always forget. The buttonhole lever is located behind the automatic threader, and it pulls straight down, okay? And it's supposed to sit just behind the front bar of your buttonhole lever, buttonhole foot, okay? This thing moves back and forth as you go to sew your buttonhole, um, and it's what tells the machine to change functions from sewing a bar tack to sewing a side of the buttonhole. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Um, all right, back to step five. Aligning the fabric for sewing. Mm-hmm. It was a nice break. It was a nice break. Okay. With the buttonhole foot pushed all the way back, meaning, take a look at this. If I push this forward, it has a spring to it. So if I let go, it's going to spring back. You want to make sure it's all the way in that back position with the buttonhole lever against the front bar. Okay. Line up the marking closest to you with the middle of the buttonhole foot opening. The center line of the mark should be in the center of the opening. Okay, so as I go to insert my fabric underneath the buttonhole foot, I am going to, and this you're going to have to get like up and in here, leave it like all up in my business, all right? You need to line up the center line with the center of the opening, and you need to line up the bottom mark, or the mark that's closest to you, with the, um, I don't know with the middle of the opening, okay? Oh, Do we see middle? where that is? Yeah, yeah the with the middle of the opening, exactly. Does that oh, make sense okay, to you guys? Yeah. You see how, I'm gonna move it forward a little bit. Um, the other thing is you can use your needle to test where that is. So if I'm not quite there, can you hold it right here? There you go. If I'm not quite there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up my um, presser foot. And I'm just going to move this a little bit to get it in a better position. Okay? See how that works? Perfect. You good? We are on step five. I'm going to lower my presser foot completely once I've checked my positioning. Okay? Does that make sense? We good? 
Number five. Number five. We flip it over. Let's try it. Using buttonhole. Go for it. Yep. Using buttonhole sample number two, align fabric under the buttonhole foot. Okay? Which is what we just did, because we're doing it a little bit differently than you'd be doing on your own. You're going to double check that your buttonhole lever has been lowered before proceeding. So I tried to give you another check just in case. Um, I tried on three of the machines today to do this just to make sure everyone's um, buttonhole function is working. I forgot all three times. I'm telling you, this is like the number one thing. It's hidden behind there, it's hard to see, so it's important that you guys just double check to make sure that you can see where it is, okay? Once I have everything in place, pretty much the last thing that's left to do is just to operate the machine, which is, as you have done in countless times before, just press down on the foot control. So, press down at step number six. Press down um, on the foot control at moderate speed. The automatic buttonhole function will sew the front bar attack first, then the left side, the rear bar tack followed by the right side. Remove your foot from the foot control after the needle has made several securing stitches back in the front bar tack. Lift the needle to its highest position, remove fabric to the left, and clip threads. We'll get to the last part in a second. It's like super bright. Okay, here we go. So I am doing a minimal amount of guiding here with my uh, hands, and we're all gonna pray that this actually works. Sometimes they're very finicky. So we're gonna go front bar tack first, and then it's automatically going to change, and it's going to start sewing the side. Then, once you reach all the way to the back, it's going to hit that point, and it's going to sew the back one, and it's going to come forward again. Once it reaches the front, it's going to sew a securing stitch, and now I know I can stop. It's done the same place a few times. I know I can stop at this point, okay? I'm going to raise my needle all the way to the highest point. I'm going to raise my presser foot, and I'm going to bring my fabric out to the right, okay? Or out to the left, I'm sorry. You can see that my, my buttonhole has been sewn, okay? Now, I'm a little off at the back here, which just means my original alignment was just a touch off, but I want you guys to see what, in perspective, like a little bit off is. That's okay. Okay? Yeah. So, eventually, they're going to open, right? The yes. Bars? Yep. So, how do you go about doing I'm that? I'm going to show you right now. Okay? So, let's just flip over for one second to where it says, let's practice, just so I can go over with you what my ex expectations are for you. So it says, so buttonhole sample number two, when finished, glue only sample number two into the box on the right. So this is going to be another example for you as to how this is done. Using sample number three, follow steps three, four, and five to set new, si set new size and align under the buttonhole foot. <coughs> you right? Yeah. Okay. Then follow step six to sew the buttonhole. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much where we're going to get up to in terms of... Um, like tomorrow. I think we're probably going to just get to uh, getting through all of number uh, number three.